Hello everybody, it's me Smilo here and it's me Tyler and we are here in San Antonio, Texas where we are going to visit the Witty Museum. Yep, it's got all kinds of dinosaurs and check this out right here. This is an Ancrocanthosaurus and I believe they call this one Archie. So yeah, we know an Albertosaurus named Alberta, a Panaceratops named Spike, and now we know an Ancrocanthosaurus called Archie. But yeah, look at Archie right here. Very big Ancrocanthosaurus right here. Yeah, and we're gonna see another Ancrocanthosaurus inside, but it's just gonna be the bones. Right here, but yeah, look at him. Man, look, just look at the size of him. Look at those teeth. Man, a very cool Acrocanthosaurus. So let's get in and out of the heat and out of the humidity and check out what else they got in that museum. Check this out. We're standing right underneath Quetzalcoatlus, the biggest creature to ever fly. Oh, I love what's going on up there. Ooh. Man, that's incredible. Quetzalcoatlus. Biggest pterosaur and the biggest creature to ever fly. Mighty, mighty, look at that. It's absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Yep, and here come more visitors. Yeah, these creatures stood as tall as giraffes. Yep, I can believe that. My goodness. Touchdown, Quetzalcoatlus. Yeah, it's absolutely spectacular. Humans would be on the menu for these mighty flyers. And if we come over here, oh my goodness, things are about to get a whole lot cooler. Oh my goodness. Look, look at this. We got Acrocanthosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. Oh, there's a few chip. <laughs> my goodness. Look at that. Acrocanthosaurus and Tyrannosaurus. Let's take a look at this one first. Oh my goodness. Willie and I actually saw this big guy bursting out the side of a building at a museum in Phoenix. Oh, let's look at that. Oh goodness. Just look at those teeth. Yep, Acrocanthosaurus is very popular in the southwestern United States. Jeez, hey, a lot bigger than we imagined. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, just look at the mouthful of teeth right there. Um, let's see over here. Yeah, just look at that mighty tail. Ooh, look at this right here. Acrocanthosaurus. Oh my gosh, you see the Quetzalcoatlus up there? Yeah, look at that. Got lots to see around here, but look at this. Look at that long tail. Look, you see those feet right there? It's leaving his tracks behind right there. Oh. Let's come over here. My goodness, look at that incredible skull right there. It looks like it's almost about the same size as T-Rex, but if I'm, if I am correct about this, T-Rex stood at least a little bit taller than Ancrocatosaurus and was about two tons heavier. Mm. Look at this, right here. Oh. Goodness, you see those large claws right there. Man, look at the size of that skull. Here we come over here. That's the tail of the Tyrant Lizard King itself. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just like you, Tyler. Yeah, exactly like me. My goodness, it's a lot taller than it looks. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's actually the first time we're actually seeing T-Rex on a full scale like this. Look at that. The Tyrant Lizard King himself, right there. Oh man. Oh, and I love that mural right there. Look at this nice little greenery around here. Look at that. See those mighty jaws right there? Yep, T-Rex was the biggest carnivore of North America, right here. And although he's not the largest carnivore that ever existed, still holds a record for the strongest bite force, right there. Much stronger than that of an alligator. Oh, look at that. See the Acrocanthosaurus right here? Mighty, mighty. Look at that. 
and look right here, Tyrannosaurus Rex compared to the Alamosaurus. Yeah, we're gonna see a leg bone of the Alamosaurus. Oh, man, just can't get enough of it, can you? Nope, you certainly cannot. Oh, wow. It's crazy. Yep, got Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. And Acrocanthosaurus right there. And then we got Quetzalcoatlus up here. Giant winged pterosaur. Man. It's absolutely spectacular. Happy to see a T-Rex, Tyler? Yep, absolutely. My first time seeing a Tyrannosaurus Rex right here. Oh, absolutely spectacular. We got a hawk right there. Yeah, you see that hawk right there? And then right here we have Archaeopteryx right there, which was a bird-like dinosaur covered with feathers. Yeah, we'll get a better view of them on the other side, but look up there. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that is Velociraptor right there. We have never actually seen Velociraptor skeleton before. Yeah, that's pretty incredible, isn't it, Velma? Yep, absolutely. Seeing a fossilized specimen of my own species right there. So yeah, I, I believe that's Velociraptor right there. My goodness, it's absolutely incredible. And it's a lot bigger than it looks too. Yeah, it's all, it always looks pretty small on the camera, but trust me, they're very big when you look at them in person. Yeah, that's a Velociraptor right there, if I'm not mistaken. It's absolutely incredible. Small feathered swift thief right there. Yeah, not as big and as scary or as intelligent as its Jurassic Park counterpart, but still very impressive, impressive animal nonetheless, right here. Man, absolutely love Velociraptor. You'll see more of it once we get to the other side inside that room. Ceratopians right here. You see the skull of this one. Man, it's pretty big. Got a large Ceratopian right there. You see that one up there? So I believe this one's an adult right here. Yeah, look at the frill, the horns, the eyes and the nose. And look, I think this one's a baby one of this one. Look at that. See that little baby Ceratopian right there? Yeah, you see him. He's a cute little fellow right there. Very small compared to that one right there. Whoa. Yeah, he's a cute one. And if you look right here, this is a skull of the biggest crocodile on the planet, Dinosuchus, right there. Man, yeah, that is very big. See it on the wall back there? Oh dear, more field trips going, but look at those teeth. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's the biggest crocodile that ever existed, Dinosuchus, big enough to turn T-Rex into a prey animal, right there. You can believe that or not. Man, yeah, that's a very big skull. Looks like it's a good, over five feet long, maybe six feet. Yeah, look at those large teeth and those mighty jaws right there. And then look at that one right there. I'm not sure which one that one is. Critosaurus. Yep, I think it's Critosaurus. There, some look kind of looks like a hadrosaur, maybe if that's what it is. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness. Yep, see Dinosuchus, Critosaurus, and those Ceratopians right here. Well, then look at this. Touch this fossil skin. Oh, wow. So that's what it feels like. See the skin right there. Man, that's a very nice exhibit. Let's back up a little so you can get a full view of it. Wow, absolutely incredible. We are going under the sea with some aquatic reptiles. And look at that, I believe that's a Tylosaurus right there. Oh, look, but look at these. These look like prehistoric sea turtles right here. Yeah, there's a big one and then there's a little one right there. <laughs> He's pretty cute, look at him. Wow. And then you see that big one right there. But if you look up here, we have a giant marine reptile right here. Not the biggest mosasaur, but still very big in its own right. Looks like about the same size as a great white, maybe. But I believe this one is Tylosaurus right there. Aquatic reptile. My goodness, it is big. Yeah. Who says sea monsters never existed? Yep, yeah, the Mesozoic time the Mesozoic era is the time when sea monsters actually existed. Right there. And we got this prehistoric fish right here. Yeah, you, you can see that it has very sharp teeth, but fortunately he's facing the other way, so 
Looks like he's being hunted by that one right there. Yeah, prehistoric fish. Oh man, look at that. Telosaurus. Tylosaurus, I mean. Wow, very big. Aquatic reptile right there. Wanna zoom out a little? Get a better view of how big this is right here. Yep. Very big exhibit. Let's take a closer look at these guys right here. You can see T-Rex over there. These are the tracks of Acrocanthosaurus right there. Yeah, look at those. Man, they're big right here. But you see the, he's leaving his tracks right there. You see this long tail? Probably a good 38 feet long, maybe. Wow, look at that. My goodness, just can't get enough of how big this thing is. Sheesh. Yeah, you see those large feet right there? My goodness, look at that. Yep, you see a very large ribcage, and then you see the spine right there. Yep, those, each one of those bones looks like they're about two feet long right there. And if you look at the claws right there, you see the claws? We'll get a better view of them on the other side right here. But look at the size of that skull. Ooh, gotta zoom out just to see how big it is. See it? Yeah, but if you want to get as close as possible, right here, that's about as close as we can get to the skull. And look at those large teeth right there. Wow. Acrocanthosaurus. Almost as big as T-Rex, but not quite. A little shorter and two tons lighter than T-Rex. Right here. Yep, we got a better view of his skull. Right there. Come over here. Look at that. See his neck right there? Yep, and like I said, you can get a better view of his claws right there. He's got three of them, unlike T-Rex, which has two, but I believe Acrocanthosaurus was part of the Allosaur family right here. You have a very big one. Wow, absolutely incredible. Want to come over here, back to Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yep, happy that Tyler got to see this right here. Very long tail. On average, could reach about 39 feet long. Yeah, but sometimes people like to over-exaggerate like over 40 feet long, but I believe the largest T-Rex ever found was probably about 42, 43 feet long. My goodness. Yeah, there's no such thing as small with this guy right here. Absolutely incredible Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wow. Just look at the size of those feet right there. Wow, I really love all this greenery right here. Yeah, you see those large feet? Yeah, look at this right here. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh man, you just can't get enough of it, can you? Nope, you certainly cannot. Yeah, and then, of course, T-Rex has adorable little arms right there. Two fingers. Man, look at that very large neck. And then you see the most powerful jaws on the planet right there. I would hate for him to take a bite out of us. Yep, we'd be easier to snap than a toothpick. Man. Look at that. Just look at it, just look at it. I got a good view of his mouth up there. Oh. Yep, you see the size of his skull right here. Come over here. Oh my goodness, you can see T-Rex and Acrocanthosaurus over there. Man, oh man. It's absolutely spectacular. Yep, so happy to see a T-Rex on a full scale after so long. See the Quetzalcoatlus up there. See us right here. Yep, you see us down here, but if we zoom out a little. Yep. Let's take a look at how big this T Rex is. Oh man, you see him on a full scale right there? Yeah, look at that. Oh man, he's absolutely incredible. My goodness. Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Tyrant Lizard King biggest, most impressive carnivore of North America. We're in between Tyrannosaurus Rex and Ancrocanthosaurus. Yeah, you got a good view of the whole room. See Quetzalcoatlus up there, Tylosaurus in the back, and my goodness. We're surrounded by carnivorous supergiants right here. Acrocanthosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex. Never felt so small before. 
was so intimidated by the sheer size of these powerful carnivores. There used to be a dromaeosaurus right here, but I don't know where it went. Probably an escaped exhibit, maybe. Yeah, we gotta see, we got a better view of the Archaeopteryx right there. See the bones right here, a little skeletal model. And then you see a very lifelike replica of it right here. And then we got modern day raptors like this. What is it, a hawk maybe? Not entirely sure. But I, we can confirm that that is indeed a Velociraptor up there. A Velociraptor just like you, Velma. Yeah, that's incredible. A very beautiful raptor. Yeah, I bet Tyler would agree. My goodness, a very beautiful Velociraptor just like you. Yep, Swift Thief of Mongolia. Here's an Elmosaurus leg bone right here. My goodness, it's absolutely incredible. And look, you see that right there? As you measure by your feet, our cameraman is about six feet, so you can see just how tall he is compared to this leg bone right here. And then it has like a scale to show you just how big the dinosaur itself was. Right there. My goodness. That is a leg of the Alamosaurus right there. Very large sauropod right here. Yeah, let me set down right there. You can see just how big it is. I'm probably about as big as one of its toe claws right there. Wow. Absolutely incredible. And then you see that's a footprint that it left behind right there, but you can see the kids are small enough to be playing in there. But yeah, look at that. Showing you the size of dinosaur footprints right there. Okay, some dinosaur tracks right here. If we come over here, that's a partial skull of Triceratops right there. Well, wow. very large. Around the second floor right here, you can see everything that we saw down there with the dinosaurs. And you can see the Quetzalcoatlus right here. We got a much better view of them now that we're not straining our necks to look up. Yeah, look at that. You see the prehistoric crocodile down there, T Tylosaurus right there, Quetzalcoatlus, and then Tyrannosaurus rex and Acrocanthosaurus down there. Yeah, look at that. Very nice view. This is my new friend Kim Quinn, the Quetzalcoatlus, and we're gonna do a bit of a rerun right now because we just got him from the museum gift shop and we want to take him to see some of his own exhibits. So yeah, hi everyone, my name is Quinn the Quetzalcoatlus and I'm gonna look up one more time at this sheer giant right here. My goodness. Yeah, you like seeing your own exhibit? Yep, it's absolutely spectacular. Oh look, there are more flying around up there. Yeah, back up right here. Yeah, you see him, Quinn? Yep, I see him. Giant Quetzalcoatlus flying right above us. Absolutely incredible. Glad you like it, Quinn, because it's only going to get a whole lot cooler. Since we just got him, we want to show Quinn here uh, his own exhibits. You see him, Quinn? Oh, yeah, I do. My goodness. Yep, I'm a Quetzalcoatlus, and we're looking at an exhibit of Quetzalcoatlus right here. My goodness, as tall as a giraffe, largest creature to ever fly. And yeah, we just got him from the gift shop. Yeah, and you can see on here his wing, the Witty Museum. Man, absolutely love the Quetzalcoatlus right here. The sheer size of it is unbelievable. We're gonna go show him another one. Walk through it one more time again, just to show him incredible exhibits of the dinosaurs that lived during his time, that he lived amongst, right here. Yeah, Grocanthosaurus right here, and Tyrannosaurus rex right here. And yep, these guys came face to face with the Quetzalcoatlus that you could see up there, you see it, Quinn? Yep, I see them. My goodness, they're absolutely enormous right here. Yeah, and just want to show you these ones right here. Oh my goodness. Yep, I've seen all of these kinds of creatures. You want to see monsters up here? Yeah, absolutely incredible. Quetzalcoatlus soaring right above us up there along with the Acrocanthosaurus right here. Oh, yeah, don't forget about the Velociraptor up there. Yeah, you can see them right there. Acrocanthosaurus and Mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex right there. So yeah, glad to have you along with us, Quinn, and we're glad we got to show you your own exhibit. That was a very awesome museum. Yeah, so glad we got to visit it. But that's it for now, folks. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, share, content, subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you guys later. See you later, Arky.